Once upon a time, there was a little old boy named Jack. Jack was small for his age, and he had a wrinkled face and wispy gray hair. He lived in a small village on the edge of a vast forest. Jack was always curious about the world around him, and he spent most of his days exploring the woods. He loved to listen to the birds singing and watch the squirrels chasing each other through the trees. One day, while Jack was out walking in the forest, he came across a clearing he had never seen before. In the middle of the clearing stood a large oak tree with a door carved into its trunk. Jack was intrigued and he approached the tree, feeling a sense of excitement and wonder. He reached out to touch the door, and to his surprise, it swung open. Jack peered inside and saw a spiral staircase leading up into the tree. He took a deep breath and began to climb. As he climbed higher and higher, Jack felt a sense of adventure and exhilaration. When he reached the top of the staircase, he found himself in a small room filled with sunlight. In the center of the room was a small table, and on the table was a book. Jack opened the book and began to read. It was filled with stories of far-off lands and magical creatures, and Jack was captivated. He spent the whole day reading, and when the sun began to set, he reluctantly closed the book and started to climb back down the stairs. Over the next few weeks, Jack visited the oak tree every day, reading and exploring the magical world inside. He learned about dragons, unicorns, and wizards, and he dreamed of one day having his own adventures. One day, as Jack was leaving the tree, he heard a rustling in the bushes. He turned to see a group of children from his village staring at him. What are you doing in that tree? One of them asked. I'm exploring, Jack replied. The children laughed at him. You're too old to be playing make-believe, they said. Grow up and be serious like us. Jack felt a pang of sadness in his heart. He knew that he was different from the other children, but he didn't want to stop exploring and dreaming. He decided to keep visiting the oak tree and reading the book, even if the other children didn't understand. Years went by, and Jack grew older, but he never forgot the magic of the oak tree. As an old man, he would often tell stories of his adventures to his grandchildren, and he would smile as he remembered the feeling of wonder and joy he had experienced in the forest. And so, even in his old age, Jack remained a little boy at heart, never losing his sense of wonder and curiosity, and always seeking out the magic in the world around him.